We visited Phnom Penh, the capital and largest city of Cambodia. It's located in the south central part of the country. In this video we'll show you the famous area of Phnom Penh. We'll try the tasty Cambodian national dish, fish and mock, eat a delicious Cambodian sweet and explore the popular markets of Phnom Penh. We stayed in the riverside area which is popular among first time visitors because it's close to everything and it's not far from Sisawath Riverside Park. It's also known as Sisawath Key and it isn't exactly a park in the traditional sense. It's a three kilometre riverside strip along the Tonle Sap River in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And it's lined with hotels, restaurants, bars, cafes, shops and lots of vendors. It's a popular hangout spot for both locals and tourists. This is the most popular area for tourists, offering stunning views of the Tonle Sap River and Mekong River, with easy access to major attractions like the Royal Palace and National Museum. You can take a boat ride on the Tonle Sap River or head over to the boat restaurant that's waiting for tourists in the evening. This area is a popular spot for Phnom Penh nightlife, especially during peak season. There's many bars and clubs to choose from with live music and lots of dancing. The first place we visited was the Central Market. The Central Market's a great place to find souvenirs, clothing, jewellery, silverware, antiques and a lot more. Be sure to bring your bargaining skills with you though, as haggling is expected. The market's architecture is in the Art Deco style which was popular in the 1930s and the building is brightly coloured and has intricate details. This is a restaurant that we found yesterday which is called Cabas and I did a quick bit of research online and I typed in Cheap Eats near me and there was about four or five that I found but this one, the menu looked excellent. So I've just gotten a, a green mango salad and a lime tea and I can't remember what you've got Jerry. what's this? It's fish hamok. Uh, so this is, this is the national dish of Cambodia, fish and mock. I've never tried that before and I'm not a big fan of fish but I am curious to have fish and curry. It, it looks nice, it oh. looks delicious. We make coconut. It doesn't taste like a fish. As I said before, this is the national dish of Cambodia and it's fish with a coconut curry mm. and the curry looks really thick. Creamy. Is it, any, is it similar to a Thai curry or very different? It's totally different. Yeah. And um, it tastes very nice. I think I like this one. Is it spicy? No, not too spicy. I think it's sweeter than normal, but it's totally very nice. Mmm, I can taste lemongrass. Yeah, I'm gonna try this sauce. Oh, that's amazing. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Because yeah. of the lemongrass, it, it gives me that, um, it does, for me, remind me of some Thai flavours. Mm. It's delightful, that. Actually, the, all the herb is the, in the Southeast Asia. It's a cold culture. Mm -hmm. We all, uh, use the same ingredients, similar ingredients. So sometimes some food we have the similar taste and some food we have a similar, similar dish that we call a different name. Right. And the prices here are very reasonable. So my salad was two and a half dollars and I think this was for four or four and a half dollars for yours, mm -hmm. which is good. Mm. And that's amazing. Mm. I can taste like the citrus flavour in there. Interestingly, we found a few places which were selling street food just along the road from here. And the prices for the street food, in comparison to coming to sit in a nice restaurant like this one, were almost the same. There wasn't that much difference, which mm. surprised me. Mm. That's really nice. We've stopped at this place for some dessert and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it looks like ice with a combination of things such as jellies, 
coconut, um, jujube, beans. It looks very colourful and very tasty. Oh, I think there's caramelised coconut on the top as well. It's a little place called De Jello. Um, so we're going to try this and I think we can get three toppings for one dollar. Four toppings for one dollar twenty-five. Five for one dollar fifty. I think I'm going to have four toppings. Okay, uh, how many inside you do you want? Four. Okay, you pick. Yeah, I have one, two, three. Thank you. Is it all? I like this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. to the house. I'm going to Oh wow! It's as good as a halo halo. Oh really? This could be the best part. Calamarized coconuts. My eye. When you can see from the eye, outside like this, when you taste, I feel like, oh, the taste is better than what I expected. And you remember the name? No. Can I ask the lady? Oh, okay. Excuse me, do you know the name of this? Tako, Tako Tuk. Tako Tuk, thank you. Is it? Cambodia Sweet. Cambodia Sweet, thank you. It really reminds me of a halo halo in the Philippines. Not entirely the same, but it's very sweet. And the halo halo also has the shaved ice in there. I wasn't expecting it to be delicious because usually things with shaved ice, I think, oh, it's okay, but it's not my favorite dessert. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I had no expectations, and it's delicious. After dessert, we stop by one of the popular markets called the Russian Market. Oh, you have to pay it, Huh? I think you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they look very similar yeah. to mine. Yeah. The Russian Market is also known as Tul Tom Poom Market, and it's one of the most popular markets in Phnom Penh. It's a great place again to buy souvenirs, clothing and other goods. The market got its name in the 1980s when many Russians who lived and worked in the Phnom Penh area shopped there. Today the market's a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Whoa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>